Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy hump day. It is crazy. I cannot believe it's already hump day again. Yeah, it's all right though. We about to get it in today. Had a busy, busy day yesterday. I had to meet with some contractors and stuff for a big project I'm trying to put together at work. Went well. It was a nice little walk through. Very informative. And uh, I think it's going pretty good. I have to meet with another contractor next week. And then I should be able to get the final quotes that I need. Ooh, that sun is kicking this morning, boy. It is bright. But man, what a beautiful, beautiful morning it is here right now. It is 57 degrees this morning as the sun is rising and right here in Arkansas. The weather is crazy. It was 100 plus degrees just a couple of days ago. And now it's 57 degrees and it won't even get out of the 80s today. The only bad thing is, is I'm getting great weather like this and I have to go to my 9 to 5 even though it ain't really nine to five um, this week. Man, I sure would love to be working on the mountain today with this beautiful weather. I could get some stuff in for sure. But it is what it is. Gotta pay the bills, gotta pay the bills, gotta pay my telephone bills. <laughs> I'm in a good mood this morning, even though I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Eclipse uh, kept me up quite a bit last night she was moving and she started whining late at night had to go to the bathroom so I had to go take her outside to go to the bathroom kids right kids but and also I think with the cooler weather or whatever I think she's a little extra frisky <laughs> just a little bit but it's all right I got enough sleep I'm a robot I can keep on keeping on but it's already Wednesday and now with my new work schedule, it is my Friday Eve. <laughs> Cause now that I'm on four tens, tomorrow will be my last day for the week. But man, we got a lot, a lot that we gotta get going because it is Freedom Weekend coming up. So there's a whole lot of preparation. Holy moly macaroni, boy, that sun is kicking this morning. Yeah, but we got a lot to do. We gotta go get some fireworks, got food to deal with, gotta do some cleanup because we got a whole lot of people coming from all around to Freedom Weekend. And uh, I know there's gonna be quite a few people that haven't seen Come On Mountain yet and they're gonna wanna come out and check it out. So I wanna make sure that it looks its best, you know, just like everybody. In the comments below, let me know what you're doing for 4th of July weekend. What is your plans to celebrate Independence Day? I love 4th of July. It's definitely one of my favorite holidays. I enjoy it. Um, it's always a good time. You always get to eat some good groceries and hang out with your people. I think it's important to take those times in this busy world to just slow down and just connect and kind of interact and just take a moment and just kind of appreciate the things that you have and the people that's around you and kind of just take a break and really take it all in so i'm excited about it freedom weekend last last year was probably one of the best fourth of july's that i've had in 10 15 years i mean it was just a bunch of like-minded people just kind of hanging out and enjoying each other and no drama there was no drama it was just it was just a really really good time so I'm looking forward to the second annual freedom weekend so I know that a uh, simple life reclaim and country road cure they started getting it yesterday getting ready for it all and uh kind of sucks that I have to work all day dear um, to my nine to five and I can't really help out as much as I'd like to help out to get ready for it all but I will do what I can uh, after tomorrow I will have Friday off and so I will probably spend all day Friday getting ready for it um, I talked to Levi last night Levi has made it to Texas he's over there with Ian 
and uh, he's going to hang out with him for, let's see here, well, last night, today, tomorrow, I think he's coming to me Saturday morning. So it's about a five, five and a half hour, somewhere around there trip to me. So he's going to get up early Saturday morning, head to me, and he's going to stay with me uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then half pints, heading back to Florida. Uh, the job wasn't what he thought it was going to be, which I figured whenever he told me about the job. I, I didn't think that he would make the money and stuff that he was projecting. But uh, I felt like it was a good life experience for him to be able to go on a road trip and kind of spread his wings his first little uh, across, halfway across the country kind of road trip with a couple of guys and friends and stuff to try to uh, go make money and all of that. So it's a good life experience. I, I felt like he needed it. I, I knew before, you know, as a dad, sometimes you just gotta let your kids learn life lessons the hard way. Um, I knew it wouldn't be that hard of a way, but, and he was close to me, about three hours away, so that made me a little secure about the whole situation. But I wanted him to go get that life experience. I wanted him to take the trip and, you know, he's becoming a man. He, he's about to be 20 years old here in October. So I felt like it was a good life experience for him. And also to be able to see that, you know, sometimes if it sounds too good to be true, there's a lot of times it is, you know what I mean? Most of the time, honestly. But, uh, so I think he still got something out of the trip, which makes it not a wasted trip. And I get to see my son twice this summer. Um, well, actually three times, because I had him here. I flew him here uh, just about a month before that for the meetup. So I got to see my son three times this summer. So for me, <laughs> it's a win. But I'm looking forward to seeing him. Also, I got to talk to my granddaughters yesterday. My daughter called me and uh, I got to talk to my grandbabies and that always makes my day. Um, they're so sweet. And my youngest granddaughter, you know, she's she's starting to talk talk quite a bit now. And so she'll be back there in the back seat saying, Papa, I love you. It's the cutest thing in the world. It just melts my heart. I love it. I love it. It makes my evening, it makes my day. And uh, they got the guinea pigs. So they're all excited about that. And uh, they're enjoying their summer. So it means a lot to me. I can't wait to actually uh, be able to sneak away for a minute and actually come see them. So I'm going to try to do that probably towards the end of August. Um, as y'all know, I got a busy, busy, busy summer coming up. So it'll be a minute before I can actually sneak away from the mountain to go. But I'm going to at least try to go down there for three or four days in August before uh, my oldest granddaughter goes back to school and I will see my family down there. I will see my daughter, my grandkids, my son and all of that and just take a couple of days, take a break from the project because it'll be in full swing by the, you know, towards the end of August. So it'll be a nice little break for me to just kind of refocus, regroup, you know, I'm, I'm sure. I will have dealt with a lot of adversity and uh, the, you know that whole renovation roller coaster that you always go through because it never just goes a hundred percent smooth so I'm sure it'd be a good mental break for me to just be able to go hang out with my grandkids and kids and just kind of get away from it all for a couple of days so I'm gonna make that happen I'm probably gonna try to book the ticket here soon because who knows what prices will be by then they might be down, but uh, it ain't looking good. Prices on everything is expensive. Bad thing today is, is I got to get gas again. I got a couple of gas cans in the back of the truck, and I got to fill the truck up. So it's going to be about $150 a day on the old gas. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm not going to let it take my joy. Which brings me to what I want to talk to you guys about this morning. What brings y'all joy? And how do y'all avoid stuff from taking your joy? What do you use? Everybody's got that one thing that's just special to them that kind of gets them out of a bad mood and stuff. What is yours? Kind of curious. Because 
one thing I want to do on this channel is growth, you know, self growth. I want to help you guys grow and I want y'all to help me grow. And uh, so I kind of like this uh, channel right here. It really, really allows me to feel like I got a great connection with you guys. And uh, I get to hear all of y'all's uh, comments and stuff and suggestions and stuff with stuff like we're talking about right now. And also, how many of y'all, besides the ones that's already commented, but feel free to comment again. How many of y'all actually did your homework and actually organized a spot in your house, whether it be something in your yard or your car or, or your closet or your kitchen or your bedroom or your living room or whatnot? How many of y'all actually did that? I know several of y'all have. Um, y'all put it in the comments and that is awesome. Um, just, I, I guess I'm checking in to see if y'all did y'all's homework. And then let me know also how it made you feel and how your week's been since you've done that. Do you feel like you're more productive? Do you feel like you're more positive? And all of that other stuff because you know what? We really need to start being more positive. We need to start being more positive and uh, try to find the positive in what we got going on because it's hard times right now for a lot of people. Really this country, honestly. And uh, we need to dig deep and find those positives in our day-to-day -day lives and in turn will kind of internally help us find our joy and at the end of the day it's all about that joy but this one ain't gonna be a long one today guys I got a lot going on today with work and uh, honestly I'm already almost there I was on the phone earlier this morning and I uh, didn't actually get a chance to record this until pretty late into my drive here but make sure you put that in the comments I'm really really curious to see how many of y'all did your homework and what y'all use to kind of turn your day around whenever it's not going that well and maybe maybe just everybody reading the comments and stuff somebody that might have a hard time doing that might find that little trick that they need to be able to figure out how to brighten their day when they're just not having a good one but today is not going to be that day because it is hump day. It's going to be a good day. I'm excited. Even though I'm running on very little sleep, as y'all can see, I'm extremely positive today. Extremely motivated and ready to get it in. All right, guys. We'll talk again tomorrow. I look forward to reading all these comments. And also, don't forget that we're going to be live tonight on the main channel, Come On Homestead. And uh, I still ain't got no sipping cream, but that's okay. We're going to do it anyways. Until we see each other again, guys, come on. <laughs> Keep it real.